purpose of this video is to demonstrate preservation of configuration and visual rules on the three kit platform when uploading new versions of existing assets. As we can see here, there's an asset titled object grid that consists of a three by three grid of cubes and nine attributes, each labeled object one height through object nine height that are tied to the height of one cube within the grid, one, two, three through nine, similar to the layout of a telephone. You can see the scene graph here for this grid. Each of the cubes is labeled object one through nine. We can click through them. The rule structure is as expected. Uh, there's one rule with nine actions, each action tying one of our attributes to the Y scale of one of our cube objects. So let's say we wish to update our cube objects to a different shape, in this case, spheres. In my 3D software, I've created a new asset that I've called sphere grid for now. And it consists of nine spheres laid out in a three by three grid again named uh, each of the meshes is named the same as the meshes in our original asset on the platform object one through object nine object one through object nine since we have named each of our pieces of our scene graph the same as the scene graph in the existing asset when i upload sphere grid which i'll rename to object grid when i upload this to the platform to replace the existing version of object grid all of the configuration logic should be preserved so let's try it we'll go into our folder we will pull up our asset folder so we'll take our sphere grid we're going to duplicate it and we will rename this to object grid And now, because our names of our 3D file match the name of our existing asset, when I drag this to upload, it will overwrite object grid instead of creating a new asset. So once this job finishes, we will take a look at the updated asset and confirm that our configuration has been preserved. So object grid has been updated. Let's refresh our asset and take a look. We see now our spheres in the same three by three grid. And when we change the heights, we are seeing the same behavior. Each of our spheres is now changing in Y scale, similar to the way the cubes did. And when we look at the 3D asset scene graph, we see our same scene graph is preserved. And if we refresh our rules, our rules have also been preserved. So this will work anytime you go to update an asset. Just be sure that you preserve the names of everything in your scene graph. If you change the name of something in your scene graph, it will break the rule that's associated with it. But as long as everything is the same, it will update and it will save you the time of needing to reconfigure an asset when uploading new versions. Thank you.